Wix Studio and Webflow are two popular no-code website platforms, but which one is right for you? In this video, I'll be comparing the ease of use, page editing, ecosystems, CMS, client collaboration, and more to see which one is best in different use cases. Before we get into it, I want to share that this video is sponsored by Wix Studio, but all opinions are my own. Wix asked me to take an honest look at Wix Studio compared to alternatives, so with that being said, let's get started with the ease of use. Both Webflow and Wix Studio are easy to use. They have similar interfaces with the primary navigation on the left and specific element options on the right. Wix Studio's right sidebar is easier to navigate than Webflow's. You can easily find the options you're looking for, where I find Webflow's sidebar layout is a bit more confusing. Webflow lets you generate new sites with AI, but I find it a bit strange that you can only generate new sections with AI if you started with an AI-generated website. In other words, the AI generation tools are not available if you start with a blank site or a template. Wix Studio lets you generate sitemaps and wireframes with AI, and while it's not a polished site design, I find it more helpful than Webflow's take on AI, as it really goes the extra mile to think through the pages and sections your site will require. Wix Studio can also generate text with AI, regardless of how you create the site. Both page editors give you powerful layout tools and elements, including flexboxes and CSS grids. Webflow has a new page slot layout tool, which I think is neat, but we'll come back to that later. Webflow lets you import pre-built sections in the form of layouts. There's a starter library included in every site, or you can import additional libraries from the marketplace. Many Webflow libraries are free, but you can also purchase libraries from Webflow's marketplace or third-party marketplaces. Wix Studio has more sections available by default, and you can still download or purchase templates from Wix or third-party marketplaces. You can also choose from pre-styled wireframes, containers, buttons, menus, and more. For advanced page designs, Webflow uses a class system, allowing you to create a custom CSS class and assign it to any element you want, like headings or buttons. Wix Studio lets you add custom classes, but you can't assign custom classes to elements. This means you have to target elements by ID, which will cause some challenges for scaling a design across the site. Okay, but page design is just one aspect of a website platform. How do Wix Studio and Webflow compare when it comes to CMS features? Both platforms let you create CMS collections from scratch or templates, and they both support reference and multi-reference fields to build pages that pull data from multiple collections. For larger projects, Wix Studio supports up to 500,000 CMS items on the Elite plan, where Webflow supports up to 20,000 CMS items on the Business plan. Both platforms have enterprise plans with custom limits, but you'll have to move to enterprise on Webflow much quicker with a large project. I appreciate that Wix Studio has many rich features built in, like multilingual support, a members area, forms with conditional logic, calendar and scheduling widgets, and more. You will need the standard plan to access most of these first-party apps, but we'll get into pricing in a minute. Webflow supports localization as well, but they charge an additional $9 a month for this, regardless of the plan you're on, and it can get more expensive depending on the number of regions you add. They also removed their native members area and conditional form logic, suggesting third-party apps with paid subscriptions instead. Now, Webflow's app marketplace has just over 300 apps, but Wix Studio's marketplace has over 500 apps. So it's already looking like Wix Studio is the better value, but how does the pricing compare? Wix Studio has a simple per-site pricing structure with plans ranging from $19 a month to $159 a month. Many features are available on the basic plan for $19 a month, but some features like e-commerce, online programs, and event and ticket management require the standard plan for $27 a month. Beyond that, you're essentially paying for increased performance and storage with the higher plans. Webflow's pricing structure is much more complicated. There are site plans and workspaces. A site plan is meant to publish and host websites, just like with Wix Studio. The basic plan is $14 a month, but doesn't support CMS collections. The CMS plan for $23 a month supports 2,000 CMS items. But if you want form file upload, you'll need the business plan for $39 a month, and it still only supports up to 10,000 CMS items. That's half of what you get with Wix Studio at a similar price point. It's also curious that Webflow chooses to limit bandwidth, where Wix Studio chooses to limit media storage. This isn't that much different since these metrics are closely connected. If you have a website with large image files, it's going to use 
use more bandwidth to load than an optimized site. In other words, Webflow doesn't limit your media storage, but if you're uploading monster files, you're going to chew through that bandwidth quickly. Where Wix Studio does limit your media storage, but by keeping those images small, you're going to use less bandwidth. With that being said, I prefer Wix Studio's structure of no bandwidth limits, even if storage is limited, because there's no chance of a traffic surge causing surprise overage bills or downtime. Now things get even more confusing with Webflow, because in addition to site plans, there are also workspace plans. These plans are designed for freelancers and agencies who need enhanced staging capabilities and advanced collaboration features. In other words, agencies will need to pay monthly for their own workspace plan in addition to their clients paying for the site plan. Yikes. Okay, so Wix Studio is the better value, but what if you need advanced development features? Webflow supports custom code embeds with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript blocks. You can also fetch APIs using custom JavaScript or automation tools. Code export is available for static sites, so you can self-host basic landing pages, but you can't self-host sites that include CMS collections, e-commerce, or other dynamic functionality. Wix Studio doesn't offer code exports, but Unlike Webflow, you can natively access the backend with Velo. Velo is Wix's JavaScript-based development platform. It allows you to create app-like experiences, such as dashboards or gated content. You can also keep things simple and do custom code embeds on the front end with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. After you've developed your site, you'll want to optimize it for search engines. Both platforms offer native SEO tools, but Wix Studio's offerings stand out thanks to its beginner-friendly SEO wizard. Wix Studio walks you through everything, where Webflow assumes you already understand the basics of SEO. Another SEO consideration is performance, and Webflow is known to have cleaner, more optimized code, but this will vary from site to site depending on third-party integrations. Webflow and Wix Studio are both designed with agencies in mind, and they each have unique tools to help with client collaboration. Webflow recently introduced a page slots layout tool. This allows clients to drag and drop elements inside the page slot without modifying the rest of the page. Previously, Webflow just had a designer and editor mode, meaning clients could either have access to edit the entire website, or they could be restricted to only editing the text on the page. Page slots allow for a hybrid approach where the client could design the page body or a specific section of a page without risking breaking the header, footer, or other delicate designs. Both platforms support client comments for feedback, a centralized dashboard, and client billing. However, Wix Studio has a huge advantage with real-time collaboration. While Webflow only allows one user to design the site structure at a time, Wix Studio supports collaborative design, kind of like a Google Docs file. Okay, so in the end, is Webflow or Wix Studio right for you? Well, I'd say that Webflow has the edge when it comes to front-end design thanks to the CSS class system. It's also great for generating static landing pages that you can export and self-host. However, Wix Studio is still a great option for front-end design, and it's a more well-rounded solution. It's a powerful platform for developers who want back-end access, it makes SEO easier for beginners, it has a larger app marketplace, it has stronger collaboration tools, and it's a better value. I'll be honest, I've never liked Webflow's pricing model. It feels like a cash grab that they're trying to charge both the agency and the client for access to the platform. I assume Webflow is doing this because they think they can get away with it. They are one of the most popular no-code platforms out there. Wix Studio is the new kid on the block, but it's seriously impressive what they've accomplished in less than two years. Webflow is more polished in some areas, sure, but it's also 12 years old. I'll have both platforms linked below if you want to give them a try, and I want to thank Wix Studio for supporting the channel. And by the way, if you're looking to up your game as an agency, I highly recommend doing email marketing. If you're not sure which email marketing platform is best for you, I recently did a comparison video that you can check out here.